Right. So that's in. And again, as I said, once they're flat like that, I can just run a bead of uh, white glue on them. I'll just run one of these along each end, like so. And like so. And then uh, to make it not so obtrusive, take a little sand and seal. I've got to coat these anyway. And just uh, wet the brush with it. And then just run it along over the top of my seam. And that runs the glue right in. And we just come back and take care of the excess by brooming it, basically sweeping it right across the, um, the sheet of birch ply. And that'll strengthen that sheet of birch ply as well. But we don't want any, like, I don't want that big ridge of uh, white glue. Um, so I am going to paint these in that uh, interior green, anti-corrosion green. You see the crack has all but disappeared and you know once I get a few more coats of this stuff on here it'll just disappear that that little blemish, that little crack, a little crickety crack. Right so that's that's how we do it. Get that lined Make sure it looks uh, pretty much the same as the other one. So when that wheel drops in there, it's still going to fall. There, I'll show you on this side. Plenty of uh, depth. And still remembering that the um, the gear is going to come over the top uh, this way, landing your leg. It's going to come over the top this way. So it should be at just the right angle with just enough depth, I'm hoping, for those gear doors to uh, to look appropriate. I sure hope so. You know, close enough. And like I said, if, if the gear doesn't retract you know, flush, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, you know, it's just not a perfect outcome, but you know, for all intents and purposes, it's, you know, retractable landing gear just may not go all the way up in recess flush. You know, I'd like it to. We're going to try to get that to happen, but I can't say at this point that it will definitely happen. We'll do what we can to make this work and get a good fit. All right, so I just want to brush a little bit more of this in there. Make sure that those seams, those lines running along each wing rip look, look clean. A big puddle of glue or filler or sealer. Just a, just a nice clean line. I'm going to wash the brush now. So anyway, that's, um, that's where we're at uh, currently on the project. Uh, you know, there's lots more to do yet. Push this down just a little bit, keeping it flat. Keeping it flat. There we go. Same depth on each side. Where is my... Let's just check it. Comes up to the quarter inch mark. Yeah, and on this side, of course, I can't see it, but yeah, it looks good. Looks about even, which is all we're looking for. Nice straight line. Okay, so that's just uh, what we're going to do like that and if it comes down to it uh, you know if I need to put a, a liner at each end a piece this way that comes down and sits flush on top of this panel I don't think I do need to do that 
I'm not sure how it looks on camera, but you can see it, it looks pretty pretty much complete. Now the actual well is completely enclosed, uh, but once I uh, put the a couple of other details in here, there's a couple of access uh, cover caps, uh, three on each of these. I'll just use the hole punch to cut them out of uh, cardstock and lay them on and uh, mark uh, some uh, sc screw holes onto them. Anyway, that those are the three cover caps. Uh, a couple of hydraulic lines against this wall here that wrap around into where the actuator sits. And it's a cylindrical actuator that sits in this opening on each side. So just a short little barrel shaped, like a fire extinguisher kind of a looking thing. So we'll drop those in, uh, connect them to a couple of uh, lengths of wire to make to replicate a uh, hydraulic lines power line that kind of thing and uh, I've got to straighten out the clean this up a little bit so the gear opens all the way so still lots of little uh, tricks to do to make this come out in the end looking more or less okay but I did want to sh show you how I use make templates and cut the birch ply parts and how useful the birch ply is in kits like this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.